Hi, in this video I will explain dining philosopher problem which is a classical synchronization problem. So in this problem there are five philosophers uh, who, are spend, who are spending their life uh, in thinking and eating. So here we are having a plate of let's say noodles and there are only five forks. So every uh, philosopher if, if he wants to eat uh, he needs two forks. So uh, he need a pair of forks and once he occupied two forks in that case then he can start eating. Now so here we will see the first solution. What can be the solution for this problem? So here we are uh, taking five sigma four. Every fork is actually represented by a sigma four. So what will be the solution in the every philosopher what he will do? First he will try to occupy his left fork. Once this left fork is occupied, uh, he will try to occupy his right fork. So every philosopher will do same thing. Whenever they want to eat, first they will try their left fork. Once it is occupied, they will try to pick right one. So here the code will be for every fork. There will be a while loop. And uh, for, uh, we are having here five forks. And so we are actually representing them as a chopstick. So these are actually SEMA4. So we are having five uh, SEMA4 chopstick, zero chopstick, one chopstick, two, three, and four. So first of all, every philosopher, whenever he wants to eat, he will lock its left fork. So this uh, function weight, this function will decrease value of this SEMA4. So initially, if this value is one, this weight function it will make it zero. And then what it will do, it will, uh, uh, the philosopher try to lock its right fork or right sigma fork. So first they will go for left, then they will go for right. They will uh, eat. Once both chopsticks are occupied, philosopher will eat. And once eating is done, they will release the chopstick. They will release the lock on fork. Or we can say they will put uh, their forks down on the table. So this is the simplest solution. Philosopher will take left fork first, then take right fork. Once both forks are occupied, he will eat. And once this eating is done, he will put both fork on the table. Now, uh, there is a problem with this solution. So let's see what is the problem. Now let's say all philosopher wants to eat at the same time. So what they will do, every philosopher will take their left side fork first. And say this uh, philosopher picked his left fork. Same with this one. Same with this one. So everyone actually picked one left fork. Now uh, all forks are occupied. Now every person is having only one fork. Now they will wait for their right fork. So let's say this philosopher is waiting for his right fork which is occupied by him. And same scenario here, here, here. So it will create a circular waiting. And this will be a deadlock. This will be a deadlock condition. Okay. So this is the first problem with our solution number one. There will be a deadlock if all philosopher wants to eat at the same time. So if we are having some process, uh, like uh, let's say we are having five processes and there are limited number of resources. So if we are going for this solution, there will be a deadlock. And what is the second problem? Second problem is that let's say two philosophers are very fast. So they will eat and once they are done they will put their fork back uh, on the table and again they will uh, star they will pick these forks again. So if these two uh, philosophers are faster as compared to these three. So they will keep on eating. They will put their forks back. They again keep on waiting. So these remaining philosophers, they will keep on waiting. And these two philosophers keep on eating. So if a, uh, so in computer term, we can say if we are having some processes and if some processes are faster as compared to others, so faster processes will occupy resource always and other processes has to wait and this waiting actually caused this problem starvation so this solution is not good because we are having a deadlock and starvation problem 
now we will go for solution number 2 so what is the second number solution in this solution uh, we will break that circular waiting which actually cause a deadlock in solution number 1 so in this one what we have done that uh, every uh, philosopher will run this code except one so they will first try to occupy their left four then they will go for right four they will eat then they will put left four first then they will put right four so four philosopher will do the same logic they will first try to occupy left then they will try to occupy right but among these five one philosopher uh, will be applying this logic and what so we are representing that different philosopher so let's assume this is the, the righty philosopher what he will do he will try to occupy its uh, his right fork first then left he will eat then he will put right fork first then left so how this deadlock solution is resolved here now we are assuming all these five philosopher uh, starving at the same time so they will try to pick their fork at the same time so these four these four philosopher they will pick their left fork and he he will try to pick his right fork so what will be the situation the situation will be like this one these two philosopher having one fork between them so either this person will be having that fork or this person will be having that fork so if this situation will occur there won't be any circular waiting okay and because of this uh, non existence of circular waiting this deadlock situation is solved now the problem the second problem remained in the solution as well again there are chances of starvation some uh, some of these philosophers may be starving to death they won't get folks to eat so starvation is still there now we will see the solution number 3 so this solution actually involve a third person a arbitrator or we can take in this example a waiter so whenever a philosopher wants to eat that philosopher actually ask waiter i want to eat and waiter will see the current status of uh, pork current availability of pork and then he'll, he will grant the permission so once he will grant a permission to any philosopher that philosopher first take uh, let's say his left fork then right fork once these two forks are occupied now this waiter can grant permission to other philosopher as well okay so this will be the uh, how this thing achieved uh, in form of code so we are actually using one more semaphore and this semaphore value initially will be 1 so when a philosopher call wait mutex at that time this mutex semaphore value become 0 and if uh, at that time if some other philosopher execute the same code they will be waiting okay so philosopher will pick both of his fork once it is done they will signal the semaphore so now uh, we will see what is the problem with this solution so this is the scenario if this philosopher wants to eat he will ask this waiter i want to eat waiter will say okay you can pick fork he will pick fork now another person wants to eat he will ask i want to eat waiter will grant the permission okay you can pick your fork so this situation will uh, work in this fashion now what is the problem with this solution let's assume this philosopher has requested first and this waiter actually granted the permission to this philosopher so this philosopher is having these two folk and he is eating now let's say after him this philosopher ask permission to pick folk now waiter a uh, waiter actually seeing the current availability of folk and let's say he granted permission so what he will do this person will pick one four and now he is waiting for this one so while he is waiting waiter cannot grant permission to other philosopher because waiter can this arbitrator can grant permission to a philosopher only in case 
if the previous uh, philosopher who requested for uh, waiter permission he has picked his both of his forks so this philosopher has not picked both forks he is waiting so in that case this arbitrator cannot grant permission to other philosopher okay so this is the problem with this solution uh, this one originally actually say proposed by disaster okay now uh, we will see the tenenbaum solution so in tenenbaum solution uh, there are three states of philosopher a philosopher thinking or eating or when he uh, star at that time he will be in the state hungry we are having five semaphore each one representing a four and we are having one more semaphore so total uh, uh, so we are having five sima for this one one extra sima for and these are the states so this is the logic for tenenbaum solution why is that initially every every flows were actually thinking now uh, when they start feeling hungry so what they will do they will try to take their chopstick so they won't take their chopstick uh, directly what they will do they were uh, first will see whether their neighbors are not eating if their uh, neighbors are eating in that case they won't pick their chopstick so in this uh, solution every philosopher before picking their forks will check whether their neighbors are not eating so only in case if their neighbors are not eating a philosopher will pick his forks otherwise it will not pick both fork so after take chopstick they will eat and then they will drop so this is the taking chopstick uh, procedure this is the mutex so this down is actually wait and uh, here we are signaling we are giving signal and this is the critical section so uh, state of uh, philosopher is represented by p flag so this is the state of philosopher i so whenever a philosopher wants to eat initially he is in thinking state we are calling take chopstick in take chopstick if the sima for value of me is 1 that case we will enter in the critical section the state will be changed to hungry and then it will call a taste test in this test they will check uh so this is the test in the, the test what is the condition if current philosopher is hungry and its neighbors are not eating okay if you can see this is a condition this condition saying if current state of a philosopher is hungry and its neighbors are not eating so in that case current philosopher is allowed to eat and he will uh call signal on the semaphore as i so uh let's uh, run this code then the solution will be clear so we are having one sima for me initially set to 1 we are having five sima for set to 0 and these are the states of sima for uh, all philosopher sorry so and initially this is thinking so we are executing this code so initially our philosophers are in thinking mode now let's say one of uh, five philosopher uh star so he will run this code so let's run this code down me uh this is a wait wait function called on me sima for and what this wait function will do it will decrease the value of sima for after decreasing this value if this value is less than 0 in that case there will be a waiting but this value is not less than 0 in that case we will enter in the critical section next statement will change state of philosopher to hungry so now let's say we, this is first philosopher state change to hungry then test i so what this test i will do it will test whether neighbors of this philosopher so who are neighbors for this philosopher one neighbor is flag this one and another neighbor is this one if you will think in a round table so one philosopher the uh this one and another philosopher these two are neighbors of this one so if 
so test i will ensure if neighbors are not eating in that case up as zero so neighbors of zero number philosopher which is one and four both are not eating so this as zero will be up so as zero initially zero after test i it will be one and state of current philosopher also will be changed to eating now the next statement up me it will increase value of me sigma 4 and you can uh, consider this one as a signal as well okay and then down si it will decrease value of s 0 so it, before this value was 1 and then now it's 0 and then it will enter in the critical section eating so this is philosopher will start eating after once the eating is done it will execute next statement this statement will decrease value of me sigma 4 and it will be 0 okay now the next so if so this is 0 in that case next statement will be executed if this is less than 0 in that case there will be waiting so now current state will be changed to thinking and then test method will be called on i minus 1 so what is the i minus 1 it means left neighbor of current philosopher so left neighbor of current philosopher is this philosopher so if you will see test so here what we are doing actually we are looking whether our neighbors want to eat or not if they are hungry they want to eat give them chance to eat so this is the way how uh, Tenenbaum solution works for dining philosopher problem. Thank you very much for watching.